will be our pastor, Pastor Ruth. Amen. 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 All right, my amen. baby. Amen. I gotta give Lady Ruth some love. Amen. I gotta give Lady Ruth some love. Amen. All the time, at all times. Amen. We're gonna welcome everybody to New Beginners Online Service. What's up? What's up? God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Amen. Wave at the camera. Amen. Wave at the camera. Give us some hearts. Amen. Likes and all of that. We thank God that you guys gave. Remember, during this time, we're still going to get it in. We're going to support our ministry. We got Give and Fly. We got PayPal. Amen. And we're going to do what we got to do in the name of Jesus. So what we want to do, get them hearts up, y'all. Hey, let, let, let's break the internet today. Get them hearts up. Share this on your page. Share this with your followers. And let's do what we got to do for the Lord on today. Come on. Likes and hearts. Likes and hearts. Clap in your house. Let's raise the roof in your house. Come on. Raise the roof in your house right now in the name of Jesus. Because we all in the house. You know what the sermon is going to be about today. Raise the roof. Clap in your hands. Clap. Let me knock on your screen. Let me knock on your phone. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Let me knock on your TV. Let's go. Amen. New beginnings. One bad. One sound. One bad. One sound. Amen. 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 We're going to get it in, y'all. We thank God for what God is doing. Yes. Amen. We love y'all, new beginners. We love y'all. We appreciate what God is doing at this moment, getting us all together via virtual, amen, and our online campus. And we thank God for that. So new beginners, all to new beginners, you should, we thank God for you. Now we're going to do a party in your house. Praise amen. God. We're going to do a party in our house, amen, yes. because of what's going on. So welcome to church. For our temporary new normal, yeah, our temporary Amen. new normal. We gotta do this until we get back into the house of the God, uh, house of God. But hey, just because a building is closed, don't mean the church. Come on, is come on now. Hey, so this is what we gonna do, y'all. Give me twenty five minutes. Give me twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes, and I'm going right into the words. So just follow me. We are gonna come from Genesis twelve and thirteen. You know, no, no, not Genesis. Let me go to Exodus. Let me go to Exodus. Exodus Amen. twelve and thirteen. It Amen. says this. But the blood on your houses will be a sign for your protection. My God, my yes. God. The blood on your houses will be a sign for protection. And when I see the blood, uh -huh. I will pass over. Woo! Yes. Tap your neighbor and say, pass over, pass, pass over, over, pass over. Now, now uh, nothing will touch you or destroy you when I strike Egypt. Now, this is so good that we get an opportunity to still listen to our pastor and still listen to our first lady, our co-pastor, yeah. during these times, amen. But this is what it says in the message. I will go through the land of Egypt uh -huh. uh -huh. on this night and strike down every firstborn yes. in the land of Egypt. So, so the Lord was was letting them know what he's going to do. It says, uh, whether human or animal, oh man, not, not just man, but uh -huh. animal as well, and, and bring judgment on all gods of Egypt. Uh-huh. Uh, and it says, I am God. My God. The blood will serve as a sign on our houses. Right now, as your pastor, I'm going to put the blood of Jesus yes. on your house. My God. The blood of Jesus the on your house where you live. And it says this, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Woo! My Thank God. You, Jesus. No disaster. Uh -huh. My God. Will touch you when I strike the land. Glory to God yes. in Egypt. So the Lord was giving them instructions, the children of Israel, uh -huh. that when you see the blood upon the door, the blood when you see the blood on the doorpost, yes. I will cover. Uh -huh. My God. In this unfamiliar but uh unfamiliar season, but familiar season. So in this familiar season, but unfamiliar season, yes. my God, you are in your home right now. Yes. Oh yes, my God. God. Oh, my God. Life feels unfamiliar. I know it feels unfamiliar for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> as much rest that I needed, it still feels unfamiliar. I can't go outside when I really want to. Come on, God. come on. But listen to this. Across the globe, we are in unprecedented predicaments. Woo! Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. I can really flow like I need to flow because I feel like this anyway. Come on, uh, Pastor. But what, what, it pushes us to pray against the prognosis. Hey, Woo! Come on, Shot, I'm not hey, got it, it pushes God. us to pray yes. against the prognosis. Yes, God. Yes, it does. Yes, yeah, so let me put a bookmark right here. Uh -huh. um, in the beginning of this year, uh, I preached a sermon and I said, and I quote, amen, I love quoting my own stuff, a reflection. Uh -huh. If you don't know me by now, I'm Pastor Rue, uh, New Beginners Alton, and New Beginners Houston uh, in the St. Louis region in Alton, Illinois. I said this, it is a choice and you can reverse the prognosis. Mm. I said this on the first of the year, glory to God, so I wanted people to know you can reverse it. It's a choice. Yes. You can reverse the prognosis. So whatever you're going through, you can reverse the prognosis that's going on in your life. I'm going to come into your house today. Amen. Uh -huh. You know how I say it's the prophet that's walking through my house. Yes. I, I'm walking through your house on today to let you know. This is what uh, th that means. It says a disease or ailment. Mm. Uh, a prognosis of the disease or ailment. It says the disease has a poor prognosis. 
My God. Uh, it has a poor prognosis, or it, it says a forecast of likely course of disease or ailment. We're going through something right now that we've never experienced before. But we serve a God who knows all. Yes. <laughs> he is all. Amen. And is in all. Amen. And it says it is a very difficult thing that you accurate prognosis on. So what we got to understand is what we're going through is something a little bit unfamiliar in your familiar. Hallelujah. We're going through a little bit of unfamiliar in your familiar. Yes. Unfamiliar times in your familiar home. Woo! Mm. Unfamiliar times in your familiar home. But it's good that we got new beginnings uh -huh. out there. New beginnings used and has a platform to come to your house. Amen. So, so what God says for you is your forecast. Woo! Come on. What God says for you is your forecast. If you stay in the house, you come cover. On. Amen. If you stay in the house, you cover. Also, I said this. I see. Hallelujah. I say. Hallelujah. I see. Come on. I say. Praise God. I see. I say. I see the word. And I also say the word. Praise God. God. I see the word and I also say this word. You better share this word. Don't keep Come it on. to yourself. Come on. Share it on your, your friends with your followers. So the Bible says what I, I need to say in my life and I see it. And Come I on. say it. That's good. I read the word and I speak the word. Uh -huh. I read the word and I speak the word. I always got to talk about later when she says eat that word. Praise uh -huh. God. So the word changes your forecast. Yes, Woo. sir. Shout out Amen. So the word changes your forecast. And I also talked about foresight. Ooh. See, yes. I told my church, hey amen, you ain't hearing nothing right now, but you got to grow up what God told you before. Come the on. Lord is speaking Come to on. the men and women of God, but a lot of people want to listen to other folks. But anyway, Jeez. it says, first Sunday of 2020, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, the Lord wants us. What do you want us to do, bro? What do you want? He wants us to continue to speak the word. Uh-huh. He wants us to continue to speak the word. So, so we must read the word uh -huh. to know the word. Oh, amen. my God. Amen, amen. Oh, my God. We must read the word to know the word to even speak the word. It's so practical. Praise God. It's so practical. So at this time, you need to listen to your designated house of worship. This is Pastor Amen. I'm talking to both of my children. Listen to what we're saying in this season. Praise God. Listen to what we're saying. So so now back to stay in the house. Praise come God. On, come on. Type, stay in the house. Stay right now, it's house. very vital that you listen to hear and adhere to your man and woman of God. Uh -huh. So here's a reflection. God will never leave us lost. We just need to know what we're looking for. Oh, my God. Come oh, on. my God. Amen. Your, your man and woman of God who you submit to has your word. Come on. Amen. Has your word for you in this season. Stay in the house. My amen. God. Amen. Stay in the house. So let's keep it practical. Faith cometh by hearing. Uh-huh. Faith cometh by hearing. Amen. So what we got to do, we got to maintain our, our sanity in this moment. Yes. So you must hear the word in faith. Uh huh. Glory to God. So you can come to the word. Woo! Hear the word in faith so you can come to the word. Praise God. Hear the word in faith so you can come to the word. My God, you better share this this broadcast. Don't just hold it and, and hoard it to yourself. A lot of people go to the grocery store hoarding it to themselves, tissue and all that. Don't hold this word. Share it. So you must hear the word in yes. faith. So you can come to the word. Oh, mm -mm. my God. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. That'll pop my back on that one. Praise <laughs> God. So next scripture, Revelations 2 and 29 in the King James Version. It reads this. You got to flow with me because I ain't slowing down. He that has an ear, let him hear it. What the Spirit saith unto the churches. My God, that's Revelations yes. 2 and 29. Amen. We got to hear what the Lord has been saying to yes. us this whole time. Ain't nothing new. Praise God. Ain't nothing new. We going to do what we've been doing. Amen. We're going to preach the gospel like we've been doing. Mm -hmm. If you serve, keep serving. If you witness, keep witness. Come on. Uh, so, so this is what it is. We got to hear what the Spirit is saying. Don't In this season, you have to listen to what your man and woman of God is saying. Amen. Praise God. In hindsight, while preparing this message, check mm -hmm. this out. While preparing this message, I had looked at my notes to the first sermon of this year. I said, okay, let me... Look at my notes. If you know me, I only preach one time, and I, I, I don't preach it again. So the word prognosis jumped out to me as I was in preparation for today. The Lord been speaking, but has anybody been hearing? My God. Please give me a water, please. And I need my towel out of my laptop bag. Amen. Praise God. Uh, the other way, please. Amen. So, so in hindsight, the Spirit was speaking to us in January to see what we say. Now we see what we said. 
Glory to God. Was for a time such as this. And even if we think about in September, September sermon series was emergency 911. And also in 2018, I said, I'm on Operation Save the Family. Now your whole family in the house. Praise God. Now your whole family in the house. And also, I remember that sermon series. It was 911. It's an emergency. So right now, it's an emergency. Come this way for me. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. It's an emergency. So, so God has been speaking. But many are doing their own thing. My God. Many have been doing what they want. That's why they're shutting the cities down now because people still going out and ain't staying in the house. Amen. Amen. So so this is the key. You can't continue to do what you want to stay at the house of, the, of God. Amen. But now God put you in the house so you can understand what he's saying to you. Stay in the house. As we're in this pandemic, God wants you to be covered by the blood. Yes. <laughs> God wants you to be covered by the blood. Yes. Stay in the house. Praise God. Stay in the house. God wants you to stay in the house. Well, basically, he wants you to stay in the house of God and be covered by the blood. It says, when the death angel, uh, when Corona, uh, when the death angel, uh, on, when Corona, uh, when sickness, uh, uh, on, corona, uh, when stuff tries to come, it says, it will My pass God. over. Uh -huh. Huh. It will pass over. So, 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 so stay in the house. <laughs> oh, I got my help. Stay in the house. <laughs> so, 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 this is what we gotta do. We gotta stay in the house. We gotta stay covered by the blood. Uh -huh. We gotta stand on the word of God. Amen. And we gotta do what we gotta do. Amen. So, we must speak in faith to disease. Huh. Speak in faith to disease and pestilence. This coronavirus, this pandemic. Amen. And we cast it to out of darkness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus and we reverse the prognosis. Glory to God. And it will not come nigh. Thy dwelling or come near your house. Now, we're not going to be ignorant that we know some uh, men and women are also uh, succumb to cancer and all of that stuff. But listen, you can still have faith and still have a condition, and God can change come that on, thing around. Come on, God. But at this moment, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yes, Glory yes. God. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Type the blood of Jesus. Type the blood of Jesus. That's what we need because God, hallelujah, come on. is the sustainer. Oh, yes, yes. Because God is. Is the sustainer. Praise yes. God. He's a sustainer, y'all. He's a sustainer. Yes. He's a sustainer. Come on. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to preach the God I've been preaching since 2003. Come now, on. what is this? Be not dismayed. Glory to God. Don't be discouraged. Glory to God. It's not bad as it seems. Come on, Pastor. This is the protection. Yes. God, I want you to stay in the house. It says the blood of Jesus. The blood, the yes. blood of Jesus in your house. I stay in the house in Missouri. Glory uh -huh. to God. But we got a shelter in place. Glory to God. And I got a business and a church in Illinois. So I'm in all the states. Where the world show time I got a church in Texas. I'm telling you to stay in the house. Glory to God. And stay covered by the blood. Oh my God. Covered by the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Covered by the blood. Yes, thank you. And I also, check it out. I also was thinking about Noah. Uh-huh. When Noah went into the ark. Oh my God. Like like it says this. It says this in Psalms 91. I will dwelleth, and he that dwelleth in the secret place of uh -huh. the most high God. Yes, yes. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the yes. most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Y'all know Pastor Ruth says he does that when he riding his bike and going. Come on, come on. Hmm. Yes. I live the word. I speak the word. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. But I want to put a bookmark right here. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, even though we're not in the church building, uh -huh. and my church and business is in the same building, uh -huh. in the same plaza, I will crosses and I wrote with my own hand Psalms 91 on the buildings. Yes, hey, come on, so top. I covered my big building. Hey, I covered them. Glory to God. I covered them. My yes, God. Yes, my God. God. I covered them. Okay, Genesis uh 6 and 18. It says, But with thee I will establish my covenant. Woo! <laughs> I pray you sharing this. Don't be hoarding this. Share this with your friends. Amen. That thou shalt come into the ark, thy sons and thy wife, and thy sons and thy wives with thee. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, he, he found grace in Noah because Noah was doing his thing. Praise God. Uh -huh. He found faith in Noah because Noah was doing his thing. How much time I got on that clock? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What does it say? It says 12 minutes. Glory to God. Amen. And it says, the Lord repented and the man wanted to destroy the earth. But Noah found faith. Amen. I said, I want to give 25 minutes of word so I can talk to y'all. I ain't been on here because I wanted to let my pastor say something first because I'm listening to him. Amen. I ain't listening to nobody else, pastor, but mine. Oh, <laughs> that's a word. 
I ain't listening to nobody else about shit this season but my no, I hope you catch that. So I didn't say nothing to get on the internet until my daddy said something. Come on, come on, come on. So we need to find favor with God. Go to God. Go ahead and type in, I got favor. Yes, Lord. Everybody go ahead and type in, I got favor. It says, but with thee. It says, but let us uh, be in that number. Glory to God. That I will establish thee and make thy covenant. My God. God want to establish his covenant with you. It's a blood thing. My God. It's a blood covenant. It's when you give God your heart. It's covenant. Amen. So, so while we're in our whole house, and while you in your whole house, and these uh, familiar things in your house, you know, your bedroom and all that, but we got unfamiliar uncertainty going on right now. Unfamiliar, uncertain things going on. And don't forget about your covenant with God. Woo! Don't forget about your covenant with God. God want a covenant with you. God is the sustainer. Oh, my yeah, God. Is. God is the sustainer. He will never leave you nor forsake you. My God. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So, so this is a part of a technology covenant. Woo! If you don't got the Lord as your Savior, uh -huh. amen. Ask him to come into your heart. Glory to God. And be your God. Yeah. So so all of this is a part of God's plan. I do believe the master's plan. God want to get everybody in the house so they can slow everything down. Uh -huh. You can't go everywhere like you want to right now. This is the master's plan. Glory to God. Everything God created, he created and he allowed it. Ha! Stay in the house. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everybody type master's plan. Mm -hmm. God is a sustainer. Mm -mm -mm. Type in God is the sustainer. Go ahead and share this with your friends and followers. Glory to God. So like I said last Sunday, if God said something before this pandemic, he has not changed his mind. Woo! I'm preaching. Y'all ain't giving me enough heart. Say that. Y'all ain't giving me enough lights. Y'all ain't sharing this enough. God is already speaking. Yes. So what God is doing, he's leveling the playing field. The big churches and the small churches got to do live. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But if you say you guys people. So yes. everybody got to be live today. Come we can't on. have no more than 10 people in church. Amen. So some people feel cool because they only had 10. Amen. So don't forget that God is our sustainer. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Give God a hand. Praise on that. God Amen. is our sustainer. Amen. Praise God. Jesus is our sustainer. Yes. Glory to God. Jesus Christ died for our sins. Hallelujah. He died for our sins and he gave us the Holy Spirit to guide us mm -hmm. unto all truth. So, so we got to make sure that we're guided by our truth. We're listening to, to what's going on with the governor and our municipality so we can abide by the truth. Amen. Uh -huh. If it is one. So if anyone needs God, this is the perfect time to get God in your heart. Woo, shy. Yeah. Get, get your house protected. My God. Be covered by the blood. Get God in your heart in this season. My God. Yes. You know why? Because it is for your benefit. Type in benefit. Woo! Yes. Everybody love going on a job and getting benefits. Girl, uh -huh. boy, after my 90 days, I get my benefits. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I get my benefits. Now, let's, uh, all of my churches, let's pray for the, for the, for the people who we know that, that is affected by these things. Uh -huh. But uh, let's, let's just pray for them. Amen. Yes. So, as we navigate through this wilderness of uncharted territories, Amen. We got to pray like never before. We've been telling people to pray. We've been yes. crying loud and spreading out. Yes. But now we got to come into your home. Praise God. And your phone, in your device. Mm -hmm. Because God is leading us to the promised land. Every every month or every season, God gives me the, the word of what I should preach. Now, next month was going to be the title, The Land of Victory. Mm -hmm. Huh? The Land of Victory. So so, so my pastor called an article and said, we got to uh, come in uh, agreement and say, Stay in the house as a order of accordness. We're coming together as one. And we're saying stay in the house so we can protect our people. It's some rough stuff out there. Stay in the house. So the Lord is ahead of time. Just like this month. God the sustainer. So why would God say a word if he ain't going to perform it? Woo! He's going to sustain us through this. Yes. Listen to your man and woman of God in this season. Don't yes. listen to other folk. And not in this time. It's too critical. Come on. God covers us. Mm -hmm. But but my pastor called an audible. So those sons and his daughters preached the same sermon series, stay in the house. Amen. But my word already went with staying in the house. Woo! Come on. When you already in the word and the vein of God, you already in the house. Hey, Amen. you in the house right now. Amen. Put them hearts up to symbolize the blood. I want to see blood all over them, uh, them hearts. Glory to God. Yeah. So, so some time ago, I told you guys that, that we're not uh, we're not talking about storms anymore. No, I'm, I'm sick of storms. We can talk about troubles, but I'm sick about 
sick of talking about storms. Uh -huh. Praise God. But we're going to talk about valleys and mountains. So in April, get ready for Victory Valley <laughs> and Mountain Victory. Woo! Shout out. Little old shout out. Victory Valley. Hallelujah. And Mount Victory. So the series will be the land of victory. So because this land that we live in on needs some victory. Yes. Hey, Come it on, needs some victory. Yes, it hey, does. Yes, it does. God is a sustainer. Yes, he is. Stay in the house. Amen. The victory is yours. Uh -huh. oh, the anointed. Hey, can you see the anointed on my wall? Glory to God. Praise God. It's good when you can be anointed even in your house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen, lights. Amen, church. Amen, room. Amen. Amen. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Praise yes, God. Yes, Praise yes. God. Stay in the house. I see my time is already up. Amen. So I want to thank y'all for tuning in. We ain't over with, but we just going to let you know what's up. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in for that word, stay in the house. Amen. I want you guys to know that we love you. I want you guys to know that we love you. Yes. Amen. And we love you so much that we making sure that we give you the word every Sunday. Amen. When I was starting my ministry, I said, I'm going to go live in the barber shop, and I'm going to put stuff on YouTube every Sunday. I didn't despise small beginnings. I was ahead of time with technology. This whole week, I'm going to testify first, and if you have some testimonies, you can send your testimonies to info at sluggeroo.com. Info at sluggeroo.com for your testimonies. If you have any questions and answers, we're going to start some question and answer here in a moment after I testify my own self so we can interact with you because I miss y'all. <laughs> Let me get a drink of water on that. Pastor, miss y'all. But I had to do what I had to do for you for this whole week. I had to listen to my pastor first. Amen. I had to listen to my pastor first before I speak to my people. Amen. Don't tell me who you over until you tell me who you under. Amen. I wasn't going to say nothing to y'all without me talking to my daddy. My spiritual father. I know a lot of people got stuff along with spiritual fathers, but that's okay. You may not have a father. You may have messed up in ministry. It's all good. But anybody I'm connected to, I call them my spiritual father and spiritual mother just because of honor. Yes. Praise God. Amen. So so I didn't do nothing until I heard them say what they needed to say to me so I could pour out to you. Amen. Stay in the house. Yes. This summer series is going to be a blessing as we stay in the house. In Missouri, they about to start a shelter in place for us. And in Illinois, they already started that. I shut down my business. I was proactive. Pastor, what is you doing? I'm shutting down my barbershop. Listen, I'm too valuable to be sick. Mm -hmm. Same. I'm too valuable to be hurt. When I broke my collarbone, I was in so much shape that when I broke my collarbone, it didn't look like I was hurt. Because the Lord knew I had to preach while I was hurt. Huh. Mm -hmm. I had to keep on preaching the gospel. And say what thus saith the Lord. So guess what? Through these uncertain times and this pandemic of pandemonium, glory to God, your pastor loves you. We're going to do what we got to do. So mm -hmm. for the last week, I've been working 12-hour shifts mm -hmm. with our technology to get stuff ready for our new app. Go ahead and clap your hands, y'all. Go ahead and clap your hands for our new app coming soon. New app, new website, and some more things coming up. But if you have a testimony, please send it to info at sluggeroo.com. You have any questions and answers? We're gonna ask answer them today. Praise God of what's going on. Amen. Amen. And I just thank God for what he's doing on today. Praise God. I thank you for tuning in. We're gonna be back on here every Sunday until we go back into the church. And guess what? When we go back into the church, we still gonna be on here. Amen. Guess what? We've been on here since 2012. Praise God. When they was trying to slow your boy down and hate on because we came with technology and I came with polo shirts and I came with I invested in the kingdom instead of investing in me. Amen. Praise God. Everybody got something to say about what I was doing. But the key is I was funding the kingdom. Now, when the pandemic went on, we still got excellence going on your screen, on your device. Right now, we prepared for a time such as this. God will lead you and guide you. New Beginners Alton, I love you. New Beginners Houston, I love you. Praise God. I thank you for your support. If you didn't give yet, continue to give. That's why it's so imperative that we be generous givers so we can keep doing what we're doing. Follow the leader. You see me give, you give. Y'all see our heart in ministry. It's about saving souls and not clothes. If you got a question, you can pop it up right there. I'll leave it up for a hot second. If you got some questions, hurry up. Lady Rushi will read them to me and I will answer them as I can. If you have a testimony, Send a testimony to info at sluggeroo.com. If you would like to give, we have Givelify and PayPal. I can put these on here for you real fast. Amen. 
and you can get it in with us. Amen. We still need finances to, to maintain what we're doing. We're coming in excellence. That's my testimony today. I had faith to believe what God said. God said, use what you got. Amen. And I did. And I perfected it. And God blessed our hands to preach the gospel. If you have any questions and answers, this will be time for Q&A real quick. Live Q&A with Pastor Ruth. I miss you. Holler at me. Also, we got some updates of some good quality Christian content for you that's coming this week. I'm going to put up a schedule. We have a web show that we started a decade ago. We was ready for this. We have six years of content that we can show through this time. Also, Kingdom Stewardship, I will have the opportunity to open that up as well, to speak life into your life. Listen, as a bivocational pastor, all I could do was cut her and pastor. That's what I've been doing these last eight years. Haven't did anything for myself because I needed to get the word out. So don't hoard this word, share this word. We're going to be back here next Sunday, 12.05, live on our church page. Please like our church page. Praise God. You got any questions and answers, you can put them down there. Amen. If you don't, it's all good. Text them to me. We can read them next Sunday. Bible study this Tuesday. Praise God. 630. During this time, we're going to get it in. We're going to say what they say to the Lord. Did you go to church today? Sermon uh, series, the web show will be on. We're going to start at season three. Season three will be great. Amen. And it's going to be awesome. What do you got, ladies? We have a prayer request from April Hamilton. Yes. Says, um, God bless me with a construction job, me and my son. She wants us to pray for her and her son to get a job in construction. Amen, 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 amen. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pray for y'all, and we're going to make sure we do this and pray for y'all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Continue to tune in next Sunday as we get it in for the name of the Lord, as we stay in the house. God want to do a new thing. So we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and put those uh, hearts up. Go ahead and put those questions up, question and answer. If you got any more, you can info those at info at sluggeroot.com. We want to pray for your job. Pray for everything that you got going on, April. And may God continue to bless y'all. Again, tune in next Sunday at 12.05 on facebook.com, NBO, I, Alton. And watch our page for more updates for our social media and our church social media. We got content that's ready for you. God bless you, and we love you. Share this broadcast.